What's up everybody, this is Holzer. As uh, all the festivities are done, my mom's birthday's done, Mother's Day's done. I decided to do a little cleaning. Now that I have a little bit of free time right now before the wife comes home. And I want to give you a quick update of what's going on. Today I'm doing a water change. And I am checking on my coral. So far this is what's going on. I haven't really touched this tank yet. But everything seems to be good. Uh, I need to do water change on this one too. I still got water from the guy that sold it to me. And the parameters are still good. Everything's good on this one so I'm not messing with it. This is my coral tank for now. There's no fishies in here. I do have some corals coming in. Uh, I plan on doing a quick video on that too. Because I bought those online and I've never done that before. As far as this one, I am doing kind of like a little more of a cleaning than I normally do. I took out all the pumps. I'm going to start cleaning those in a bit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do water change. Uh, maybe about a quarter of the tank. I usually do about a quarter of the tank but this time I am cleaning my skimmer yeah the fishes are kind of crazy right now and I haven't done that since well since I bought it so let's see how bad that is I'm kind of dreading it but I know it has to be done it does do a good job it's my Aquamax that thing's badass so I'll show you what's going on with that in a bit. Let's go outside. Okay, so I sped you the details as far as cleaning it because it's really, I was dreading it, but it's really not that bad. It's actually, the way I put it together a few years back is the way it comes apart. And as long as you lose, don't lose any of the parts, like that little gasket thing and there's really not that much small stuff in there. We're pretty much good to go. Oh, maybe I should guys tell you that. Let me just show you guys. I put a new TDS monitor in here. And it's the kind that you can test in different areas of your RODI system. I kind of needed one. Mine busted. So I figured I'll buy it. What the hell. Um, not haven't tested it yet I'm gonna probably test it today because I'm starting new salt water this is my salt water bin this is my RODI bin yes it's all DIY yes it's all cheaply made I guess you can say compared to all these fancy stuff that everybody has like mr. salt water tank stuff or fish, fish of hex and stuff like that. I, I, I don't have that kind of money. So I think. Uh, but I think the majority of people use these brute trash cans. And it's outside. Around the corner from. I guess the house. There's the door over there. And. Plugged it into. There. It's not plugged into my sink. It's plugged into my sprinkler water hose section and that's pretty much it I mean I think there's videos out there that I have from like way back in the day if you guys want to check them out hasn't changed still the same still works fine I just do the water changes more often and now what I do is the RODI water that's in here goes in here and then I mix it and that's when I when I when I have water in here. When I don't have water in here, then I just I do both. I actually have a little T here where it goes to both. And as soon as that fills up, brings up the valve, starts filling this one up. When that valve comes up, it stops. Um, it does I have I do have it uh mixing now like more often than I used to and it's all thanks to show you this 
This is to protect it from the water, obviously. Even though I have it covered, but... I bought one of these. One of these uh, Wi-Fi switches. And these things you can program on a timer. And then I just have it plugged into that. The strip is always on. This strip is plugged into my plug over here in the kitchen. You can see that green wire right there. And, uh... So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just leave it in there. I set the timer on my phone and that thing's pretty cool, man. That thing just mixes up every, I don't know, couple hours. Have it on for like 15 minutes. And yeah, I don't have any issues now. I don't have to come back and see all this cruddy stuff. I don't know. I think I've showed it before, but you see that cruddy stuff around it? Oh man, there's caked on. That's pretty bad. So now I'm able to use the whole thing and then when I get about maybe two or three gallons, I clean it up, I dump that water, I'll get some from here, put it in here. Oh, the plane. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. We have planes coming and going to LAX and Long Beach. So thank God for that, I guess technology anyway so yeah so i don't know how far let me redo this so i have this on a timer i have this on a timer and and then I, what i do is i just have it turn on every couple hours and it's pretty cool now i don't have to deal with the crud in here because i used to leave it about halfway because I used to mix it, then I would redo more water, then mix it again. But now I let it go all the way until maybe about two or three gallons. I go ahead and I scrub it up, rinse it off, dump it in the sink, and get the ones from the brewers. You can see this is empty now. But I also filled up all my automatic top-off gallons. And I'll mix salt water in here. Or stop filling up this one here. I get the exit hose and I'll put it on my grass or on my lemon tree or whatever right now my grass because I want it to fill up over here too and I know this type of grass needs a lot of water but anyways that's beside the point so yeah okay so back to cleaning the Aquamax okay so like I said man this thing is like easier to clean than I thought oh here comes a plane hold on one second okay so like i said this thing is way easier to take apart than i thought it's all a whole bunch of pieces i guess i just forgot how to put it when i put it together but this thing comes off quick it's fairly clean i haven't even cleaned it yet another plane oh, oh the wife just got home she's all mad she's screaming about something let's go find out what's going on what happened she doesn't like cleaning me the tank. You hear that? Why are you angry? I'm just doing a little cleaning. What? I'm just cleaning my tank. Very angry. Oh, really? Why? Uh, see, I told you guys. She's like, oh, happy now. What happened, baby? Look, where'd it go? Let the flies come in this house. Oh, I gotta go, guys. Bye. That's what I'm gonna jump with. Sorry, guys. It was a false alarm. She's just angry because she's hungry. But anyway, so I'm still cleaning the tanks. Um, I decided not to show you. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Water change. I decided not to show you about how to put this thing back together outside because of the stupid planes. So in the time that the planes came and passed, I don't know, a couple minutes, I was able to put it back together. No big deal. So I'll install it right now. I'm going to go finish the pumps. And my wife's on the phone. Say hi to my doggies. And I'll be back. What's up, guys? Okay, so I finished cleaning the tank, changing the water. Got a little sidetracked because we had to go see John Wick. But I didn't get a chance to record it. I just wanted to show you the finished product, I guess. Um, 
yeah, so the skimmer is doing pretty good. Working, doing its thing. It's been a it's already it's already the next day, so and my CN enemy moved again. It was here, now I moved here, and the other one moved over here. So it started bothering my other coral there. I had to move the rock. Um, man, this crab right here, it's crazy. He moves my rock. He's super strong. I had this piece of rock here um, flipped over the other way, and he flipped it over. I had this little nail shell with this uh, Xenia and I put a plug in it and I stuck it in there and he moved it um, what else oh good news my Duncan remember I had that little tunnel thing let me see if I could move zoom in yeah I can the middle one I don't know if you remember it's covered up in that that white let me see if I can show you Where's my finger? Oh, no, no. Forget that. That white uh, stuff in the middle. Oh, let me use this. Let me use my pointer. Where is it? Oh, that one right there. See this one? This one right there. It was all closed up, and we thought it was going to die, and maybe... And the other one too, back there. Oh, why is it not zooming in? Oh, maybe the angle. But anyways, they're both coming out. They're both, looks like they're happy. And actually, I'm growing a couple more heads. All my other, my wrasse is doing good. I clean my pumps, they're all nice and clean now. And you can see how clean they are. I'm sure in the other videos, they're all dirty, nasty. Uh, my firefish is doing good. My clown is happy. And I told you about my wrasse. My wrasse is a little crazy. He flies, runs, he likes the flow of the pump, so he goes around and gets pushed around. And that's pretty much it. My other tank, all the coral are still doing good. Like I said, uh, looks like tomorrow I'll have a little bit of a surprise for the wife she doesn't know that it got some more coral and uh, I'll put them in here for now but everything seems to be going pretty good could have scrubbed the walls but whatever <clears throat> I will put out a video a little bit of the video like when the blue lights come on in the night later just to show you how it looks. I don't know, I like it with the blue lights. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. I like to read my stuff and learn about my stuff. And, oh, so yeah, just so you know, those uh, white fish the starfish yeah I looked them up they're Asterina stars so far I've pulled out three and I haven't seen any more so who knows maybe they'll have more babies and then they'll get infested although I, de I did see on uh, Mr. Saltwater Tank's video that he had a couple in there when he was showing his tank and he didn't even show any concern so but then his tank is like a million gallons or something I think it's badass so, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, take care.